Earlier I mentioned liquid level sensing as a potential application uh, for our magnetic sensors. And for those of you who are familiar with this space, you may have seen something like this before with a reed switch ladder. And you typically have a little magnet that's on a float and as the uh, level of the liquid goes up and down, the magnet rises and falls. And as you can see, as it does so, it's triggering these reed switches along the way. Uh, but you'll notice, for instance, that there are points where multiple switches are activated. This is an inherent limitation of reed switches. It's just by design. Um, they have multiple activation points, so you either have to work within that and handle it in your software or construct the ladder in such a way to minimize these activation uh, points. Um, but end result is, is you have very few points uh, and yet uh, across the more precision you want, the you just there's a limit of how far you can reach. Now we can go a step further and we can replace these reed switches with our RR130 uh, uh, digital sensors. And so you can see we have a very tight little ladder here. These uh, devices are only two and a half millimeters apart from one another. And again, I can have a very nice, simple ladder as these go up. And you can see there's a much cleaner signal as it moves. Or, utilizing the analog sensor I demonstrated earlier, we can actually eliminate all the ladder entirely and just have a single sensor at the bottom of the reservoir detecting as the magnet is going up and down. So now we've completely eliminated the need for the ladder itself. We only need a float magnet and a single sensor that, given that the enclosure is probably magnetic, per, magnetically permeable, the sensor can be on the outside. So that greatly simplifies the construction of the overall uh, reservoir. It uh, eliminates a significant number of components that would otherwise be necessary uh, to, to build this liquid level sensor. Uh, net result, and, and you get higher precision. Um, again, it's it's a it's a win-win on on multiple fronts.